Coming up this week on The Choice. Why is it always Vicky first? Because they know better. Hey, don't scratch me off. Okay. Oh yeah, watch this one. I'm going to touch all the chocolates and scratch off your knee. Hey, you're evil. Been a good day to you, sir. I've always looked up to you, Ralph. It's good to see you. You've grown. The choice begins right now. Welcome to another year of The, the choice. choice. Now, first and foremost, let's make sure everybody realizes that we have two shows. We have The Choice. Which is right now with that brand new awesome opener. With that opener makes the statement very clear. And that's, if, if you learn anything from us, please remember that statement. We don't care with what you hunt. If it's legal in your state, province, or country, let's be quiet. Let's join together and stop the fighting amongst ourselves because if we don't, this is all gone. It's all over. We want to see your children and we want to see RJ and his buddies and girls that right. he knows <laughs> do the hunting. So let's please remember, let's stop the fighting amongst ourselves. Okay, let's then go you, hunting. Also, you also made the comment that we have two, two shows. shows. Archer's Choice will start airing second quarter. This is the choice and then there's Archer's Choice. But just like on both the shows, we have the Lucky Logo. Once again, the Lucky Logo this week. is gonna be starting and this week you need to look for the Nikon yellow box logo Nikon. L7. And at the end, L7. And at the end of the show, we'll let you know where you need to put that in on the website. But you know what that is, L7. It's a square. So that means the yellow box is a... Oh, look it. Or it's loser. Hey, guess what? First, we're going to go to Mirage, the first show. It's up in Quebec. It's already starting. Okay. Yeah, in Quebec. And guess who's up first? Well, no surprise. Well, me. It's always ladies Miss first. Chris. Ladies first. Shouldn't be. I'm taking out my new TC Triumph muzzleloader, and let's go see how I do. You know, at this time of year, don't you all get, like, cabin fever? You know, hunting seasons are wrapping up, and you're, like, locked in the house, and you got to do all this honey-do stuff. Honey-do this, honey-do that. You don't do, do anything. Yes, I... What do you mean, I don't? No. What are you talking about? All you do is talk. We need to roll the footage. Oh, it's going to be ugly this year. Ugly. They're coming swimming across. They're, coming, they're about uh, 20 yards from the lake. Okay, I'm just gonna get the muzzle loader ready. There it goes. If I can get my lens cover off of there. One of the things you want to remember, especially caribou hunting, use any terrain, use those rocks and try to creep in between them. Because when those caribou are coming down in a straight line, as long as they don't see you and they can't wind you, you can start getting close and coming to that pinch point. That's what's going to make you more successful on that caribou hunt. Does he have a dark face? He's in the brush. Yeah. Coming up now. Yeah. Ready? Missed. I missed. Oh, God. Doesn't look tough. Vicky, what happened? 
well and rest. <laughs> Obviously, we've seen that. You know, I know I just ranged it 106 yards to where he was. I know the gun is on, so I can't blame the equipment. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Hello, caribou. Could you come on back over? Thanks. Oh. Strike! Vicky, don't go away because we're going to finally see if she could make it count. Welcome back to the choice. Yeah, so I missed. Everyone does. Let's just see if I... Let's see how I do when the next one comes around. Got a problem? Huh? It is day two, and we are going to go out yesterday. We had some opportunities. There weren't some really major bowls or anything like that. The weather got really nasty, and we got wet and cold, and we came back to camp. We now have five other hunters in camp. They're going to be going out today, too. Hopefully today, we'll get into a whole bunch of really good caribou bowls. We'll see what happens. I'll tell you one thing. I am so full. There's too much food in this camp. <laughs> Earlier, we were set up, we saw a bunch of caribou up on that ridge top. There was nowhere really for us to set up to be able to take a bow shot on there. It was all just little willows and little boulders. So we watched where the main line of the caribou were coming at. We tried to get set up here on the back side of that line. Actually, I guess it would be the front side of that line, the front side of that ridge. Now, when we moved over here, we did booger the caribou, but we're going to sit and hold tight, and maybe they'll come back over on this line and use this ridge here to where hopefully my shot will be about 20 yards or so. The wind is picking up again. The temperature has definitely dropped, which is a good thing because right now we're kind of sweaty because we just humped it up over that mountain here, this hillside here behind us. Keep our fingers crossed. Hopefully we'll get a, some nice caribou bowl coming through. Wind of 48 yard shots not gonna be good. Mm -hmm. The herd that we got set up on seemed to be all cows and calves, and every once in a while there was a decent bull coming by. One of the unique things about caribou hunting, like Ralph mentioned earlier, is you just have to sit there and be patient, and sooner or later that bull's gonna walk by you. Okay, I'm taking him. Yeah. Ralph and I came up here this year with the intent on taking a bull, caribou with a muzzle with our new TC, and also with our hoids. That bull was 50 yards out. This wind, I can't take a shot with my bull that far. He presented me a shot. He's an awesome bull. He has, he has a good shovel, and then he's got a good point, long point for the shovel, so that's a good thing. He's a beautiful bull. Oh, man. Thank you very much. It's cold out here. We shot my bull about 30 minutes ago. We're gonna go up over this ridge and see if he's sitting right there. I think I'll leave my shooting sticks here. There he is. He's right there. Beautiful bull. Beautiful. Oh my goodness. Yeah, my exit. Good shot on him. Look at him. What a beautiful. <laughs> Thank you, Ben. Thank you so much. <laughs> Have you ever noticed Vicky's getting hugs by all these strange guys? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Kiss up to me now. Are you calling Ben strange? No, I didn't you mean it that mean, way. No, you just said strange guys. I didn't mean that. No, Ben, he called you strange. <sighs> it's been a heck of a day. It is cold out here. We're putting on extra layers of clothing now. And he came through. <laughs> nice tops, nice beds. He's got good shovel on him. Beautiful, and my first, my first muzzle load of caribou. Thank you again, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm just using you as actually as a wind block. See? Oh, that's yeah. what <laughs> I'm just using him as a wind block now. <laughs> see, I can hit a caribou with a TC. 
Thank goodness for your Nikon Omega scope. <laughs> Gee, Ooh. that wasn't a too plain of a logo. Nice going. Hey, we don't want you to go anywhere because <laughs> he cracked me up. <laughs> because our strange guide, Ben, is going to try to fill his freezer when we come back. Welcome back to Choice. Well, if you guys missed it, I finally got my first caribou with my TC. And now, as Ralph likes to call Ben, our strange guide is gonna go try filling the freezer. And speaking of freezers, I kind of feel like I'm in one right now. Oh, do you wanna shoot the cow with your this? Which one? Which one looks better to eat? Either the, the far one. The far one. You missed. Did I? You missed. How did I do that? <laughs> do you want I can load it again? Do you want me to load it again? Yeah. <laughs> Strike two! Do you see a pattern forming here? I didn't miss that time now, did I? Take the back one. There, it's giving me a good shot now. There you go. Take him again. Hurry up. Ready? Yep. Okay. There you go. You got that one. You got that one. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you, Ralph. You're a good guy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, first animal. I hey. never shot this before. See? Vicky shot a, a nice bull with her triumph. And Ben just shot his first cow <laughs> with his triumph, brother. Congratulations. You You're a muzzle loader hunter now. <laughs> I'll Good be, shot. I'll too. be converted to a muzzle loader now. Isn't it fun? Like, yeah. With the muzzle loader at maybe 24 yards, it's hard to shoot him, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Too easy. Ooh. <laughs> Uh, you know, I don't get to shoot that many. I get to show, I get to show more than I shoot. But that was so great. That's a, I'm glad yeah. to share that with you, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Congrats again. Hey, thank you very much. That's a good. That's what you wanted, right? I wanted it for meat. Cool. I'll be uh, enjoying every bite of it. Thanks, man. Thank you very much, Ralph. <laughs> thank you. Well, thank you, Mickey. <laughs> Time to work, huh? Yes, sir. Jeff is Larry's cameraman, and uh, he was sort of getting a little outrageous and doing crazy things, like he was naked, jumping off the lodge and everything else. So we took Air Canada tape and we solidified the situation. How do you feel about being tied up and locked in? I'd just like to apologize. <laughs> Can you get out? No. No? What music are you listening to? I hate to say it, on TV. <laughs> Come on, you must tell us or else. Um, let me think of a good band. I don't want to say that I'm listening to Justin Timberlake right now. Because <laughs> I don't think I'd have my sexy back enough. <laughs> Wait, we got to get, get out of there. Are the guys here? What are you going to do to get out of there now? I'm hoping that Larry will uh, take pity out. on me. I'm sorry. No. We're going to leave him here. We're going to leave him here just like this. Okay. Okay. Show's over. Show's over. Show. We, don't, we don't need that. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Larry. 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 Come on, <laughs> yeah, can we cut? <laughs> oh, yeah, that'd be good. We, we need to cut that because I don't think. You got a knife? No, I can't get out. I don't have a knife. There we go. What's the problem? Hey, Jeff. Yeah, brother. <laughs> Free. Hey, don't go away, because if you're like me, you've been hanging around waiting for it. It's my turn, and I'm not going to miss. Maybe we'll see.
Get down, woman. Get down. Just keep hanging around like normal. Welcome, Welcome back. back to the choice. Well, you guys got to see Ben and I each get our caribou and miss it. So we missed. got. Well, the thing is, we did that for the money because we got two shots for the price of one. So now let's see if you can actually, you know, do as well as Ben and I did. I think that's how you shop too. There's nothing wrong with a two for one sale. <laughs> nothing at all. I don't know what you're thinking. In fact, you know what? At the end of this, we should maybe go shopping. No. Yeah. No, hunting season's over, shopping's over. <laughs> you know this when shopping starts. No, it doesn't. <laughs> no. Yo, no. uh -uh. <laughs> what? Oh, c'est pour ça même comme ça qu'on laisse sur l'arbre ici. Ouais. Là, il n'y a pas, pas de caribou par en tout qui passe. Non, non, non. Il n'y a rien, rien, okay. rien. Il ne faut pas trop de signes pareils pour te montrer. Là. Puis là, on se rend bien ici, puis là, on comprend que ça passe ici avec Vicky. Ouais. Vicky est là. Puis là, on va en avoir ouais. des gros bouts. Des gros bouts. Je m'en ai passé la journée. Ouais, c'est pas grave. C'est pas grave. Ouais. Bon, ben, ça va être un peu. Oui, oui, I agree. I mean, I think uh, I, I should, I could have told them the good spots too, but I let them do it. You know, we, oui, we, oui, we oui, know. I understand, sure. <laughs> okay, we've got some bulls. We got a really good bull of about three or four. There's the other guy. Okay, come on, as long as they don't see us, we're okay. Let them get over the hill. The wind is good. Don't forget, once again, use that terrain. And up there, most of the rocks are taller than I am, so I can hide a lot easier than Vicky can. Shovel, but he's got everything. And we just disappear. Oh, what damage! What damage! Good shot, did you see that? Look at him go. He's down. Oh. I mean, it must be the shooter. <laughs> hey Ralph, what's wrong? Are you a little cold or something? <laughs> I saw it coming that time. I can get into this muzzle loader, honey. Big time. I ranged him at 100, and, I think it was 120. No. 107. Wow, look at this. Huh? Yes, Good sir. Bull. Yes, sir. Good, Good bull. bull. He did not go far. Hey. Wow. Thank you, sir. Look at that. Nice bull. Nice. Look at his Dang. backs. He's almost hit. Yeah, I still count that. That's a shovel. Yes, it does. I mean, everything nice. that you could ask for on a caribou. Beautiful bull. Wow, what a week. Larry, Jeff, thanks. Thanks for putting up with Vicky for the whole week. I know it was hard. And Larry, we're sorry. You know, Larry, when we all got the tags, remember? No, I'm not helping you now. Go we, ahead. We told him, he asked, how many times have you guys seen bears up here? We said, well, we really no, haven't seen them while hunting. And lo and behold, they saw a monster and he didn't get a tag. And it was all Ralph's fault. Larry, I'm sorry for Ralph. What can I say? We want to thank Tourism Larry. Quebec and we want to thank Mirage Outfitters for letting us go on back up there again. Because it was a lot of fun. Now, if you happen to see the Nikon Lucky logo, you need to go to thechoicetv.com. Click on the Lucky logo button and tell us where you saw it. And someone's going to get some goodies. Hmm. Nice goodies. 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 So we want to thank you for tuning in again. And? And? 
for please keep strong and let's continue on supporting each other and uniting together and stop the fighting. Just stop the fighting. Hey, thanks for making your choice. The choice. We'll see you next week. You don't understand. <laughs> <laughs>